I'm, a, I'm an athlete, you know, and I played sports my whole life and I was always very competitive and you want to win. And so when someone else tells you, sorry, you're not winning this time, you know, that was hard and, and frustrating. And, you know, when I look back at it and I didn't think of it like this then, but, you know, I, I tried like this thing and when it didn't work out, I, and it was like risky, right? And, you know, like we all do as entrepreneurs, we take risks. But my immediate move was to go to law school, which was more of like a safe decision. So it's kind of interesting when I think back to like, why did I go to law school? I think it was more of like, all right, you know, let me pull back a little bit and play it a little bit safer and get this law degree thing. If you're an investor, you are much more apt today to put money to somebody who's failed, who's who's like run things before than ever before. Yeah. That's what I mean. I mean, it's it's almost like celebrated in a way. If you look, if you look at the like the <laughs> list of all these people who have been successful entrepreneurs, you know, in the past like ten years, many of them have had failures along the way, and they've been like celebrated. What I always like to do when I go through something and I see either it's not working out or you want to pivot, right? Because pivot, being able, or being willing, and noticing when to pivot is really important. And I think. You know, seeing those signs is important, but it's also then being able to like tell that story that connects things. And it always helps to be able to tell the story because everybody loves stories. That's the most important thing you can do. And even in your career, you want to be able to tell kind of that story and how things like one thing connected to the other. And for me, you know, mine may be a little bit disjointed, but looking back, it all kind of makes sense. You're so nervous about how other people will perceive you, whether it's family, yeah. friends, and or other business people, but nobody cares nearly as much as you do. And when I say they don't care, I don't mean that they don't care. I mean that they're not judging your failure nearly as harshly as you are. So get over yourself as you know, you should be able to get over yourself faster. I know it's easier said than done, but just keep in mind that nobody's looking at you nearly as, as closely as you are. So your failure in their eyes is a blip on the radar. You do have to be flexible and nimble and whether it's having a great network or just somehow finding that solution. And today, more than ever, I, I'm a big believer that it's so much easier today. And I know you, you scoffed when I said it earlier in terms of failure is cool today. And I think it's easier today to, to have you have so many resources at your fingertips so whether you have a great network and by the way if you don't have a great network i hear from inventors and, and other people all the time oh but my network's not good well get on linkedin and start connecting with people and start taking advantage of that and changing that and this is one of my biggest takeaways i can give and it's part of the network thing and it's part of helping solve any problem in my opinion is you you can't start your relationship when you need somebody. I mean, you can, but it shouldn't. You should start those relationships way beforehand. And, you know, don't be a, and this is the big lesson for everybody out there, because I run into people who are such takers. Be a giver first. Always try and give more value than you get. And then you'll find that your network, you know, kind of bears fruit from you when you need it. Once you're yeah. on Shark Tank, no one can take that away from you. you. You're on Shark Tank and people respond to that. I, I mean, it's unbelievable how much weight that carries in so many different ways. And then you become part of this like, you know, Shark Tank community of people who have, who have been on the show and help each other. Like, you know, that community to me is so incredibly valuable that we trade best in class services. We help each other with different connections. If I, if someone else has a marketing company and I'm looking for a marketing company, I'll put it into this group and I'll get 10 recommendations. And, you know, I wanted to get on QVC and I people sending me people to connect with a QVC. So it really is like, like as an experience, putting aside anybody who got a deal, didn't get a deal. It doesn't really matter. What matters is you're part of this like ecosystem, this kind of mastermind that mm -hmm. is, you know, a group of like minded entrepreneurs and achievers. And it's pretty cool. Make sure not to be a taker. Mm -hmm. Try and give more than you get. And Got when it. I say that, 
you know, not every relationship is going to be a zero sum game or you give more than you get. There will be some relationships where you give more and some where you take more. And that's natural. But as a way to go about your relationships and try and think about them, you should try and give more and try and give as much as as you can. Put your stuff out there. Don't wait for perfect and don't don't think, oh, my God, I might fail. It's okay. Like and failure isn't like permanent. You know what I mean? Like you never know what Facebook started out differently than it became. Like almost every company pivots at some point. They were might have been borderline failures until they did something different that changed everything. So, you know, none of these big successes waited for perfection. And I really do think that that's that's important. And the last thing I'll say is stay the course, like stick around. So, so many times, like so many people I know who are successful, they weren't successful for a while, but they did it long enough so that luck found them and they weren't lucky. They stuck around and they persevered. And I find, you know, there's a, there's a famous quote that I love, which is, I find that the harder, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Mm -hmm. I think it's true.